Finland and Sweden's decision to apply to join NATO really does represent a historic shift. Russia's invasion of Ukraine has really proved it to be a really unreliable and positively dangerous neighbor. It's caused Finland and Sweden to perform a really dramatic U-turn on decades of previously non-aligned security policy. They are ready to attack a neighboring country. Om Sverige skulle bli det enda EU-landet i Östersjöregionen som inte är medlem i NATO, då skulle vi hamna i ett mycket utsatt läge. NATO is a defensive military alliance that was founded with the aim of countering post-war Soviet expansion. It commits the members to come to the defense of any fellow member that's attacked. Finland and Sweden remained determinedly either neutral or non-aligned for fear of antagonizing Russia. Sweden has remained neutral so far for ideological reasons. Finland, on the other hand, has had very pragmatic reasons. Finland fought two bitter wars against the Soviet Union during the Second World War. It has an 810-mile border with Russia um, and Throughout Finnish history, invasion from Russia has been the big threat. Finland and Sweden's decision probably isn't going to have an immediate impact on the outcome of the war in Ukraine. It is, however, by far the most important geopolitical consequence of Russia's invasion of Ukraine. These two Nordic countries' accession to NATO will effectively double NATO's border with Russia, plug a large gap in NATO's defenses, and this decision really does represent a historic shift in attitudes. Och därför känns jag att vi måste välja sida. Och då väljer jag NATO alla dagar i veckan framför Ryssland. I used to be against it, but after the war in Ukraine, I'm like very much for it. Say that they would kill everyone and uh, that they would change everything. For Russia which has long liked to portray NATO as a threat to its security, it obviously represents an alarming move. Since the start of the invasion on the 24th of February, it became very clear that Finland and Sweden were thinking of applying to join NATO, and straight away Russia started making threats. Essentially provoke Russia, they're saying, into unforeseen consequences. More alarmingly, Moscow is warning that it will deploy nuclear weapons to the region. Since then, it's actually slightly been rowing back. In Russia, I would like to ask you, dear colleagues, no problem with these countries. No. The expansion of the military infrastructure on this territory will obviously cause our response reaction. In practical terms, on the ground, in Northern Europe, as far as Russia is concerned, we're very unlikely to see any form of military aggression. But this really shows that actions have consequences and that they sometimes have quite the opposite consequences of what might be intended. Vladimir Putin invaded Ukraine partly on the pretext that Ukraine was about to join NATO. And so there's a quite remarkable irony. The very expansion of NATO that Putin was seeking to prevent he has actually caused. Do you fear it could be seen as a provocative gesture by Vladimir Putin? Well, my response would be that you caused this. Look at the mirror.